Hello everyone, I had to skip last week's video, but as a replacement, I created a poll on my channel asking you which kind of tutorial you want to see next. The one that was most voted for was a tutorial on how to route ACO audio into OBS for either recording a new video or streaming live on either Twitch, YouTube, or whichever streaming service you prefer directly by using audio from Reaper or your favorite jamming software like Jamulus and all those kind of things. So here we go. I will show you exactly how to set up your OBS and your Reaper so that it can feed your Reaper output directly via ACO back into OBS to reduce the latency as best as possible and still stream everything out or record it so that you can upload and create great videos. This tutorial, however, is only valid for Windows operating systems because anything Mac is a little bit different and I don't have any experience with that. So don't quote me on how I do things under Windows here if you are running a Mac OS operating system. Now that that is out of the way, let's dive right in. Let's get the very basics out of the way. Right now, I'm running OBS at version 30. This tutorial, therefore, is meant for version 30 of OBS. Major OBS updates, however, can and will most likely break functionality with plugins. And as we are using an external plugin and ACO functionality is not yet provided by OBS itself, we will have to install a plugin into OBS, which might break in the next upcoming OBS 31 version. That being said, as I am using OBS myself, chances are high that I will update to the latest version at some point anyway, and therefore I will go ahead and search for a viable solution for an updated plugin version or something else that still works under the latest version. So if you've got any trouble setting up OBS and ACO under a newer version of OBS, just ask away in the comment section below the video and I will see if I can get you up and running. The plugin that we need is called OBS ACO. And if you Google that, then you will soon find out that the latest version that is officially available on the GitHub page of the developers is meant for OBS 28 and 29, and it will not work properly under OBS 30 and newer. However, there's a newer version hidden somewhere in the issues page of the GitHub project. And so that you don't have to crawl through the web and search for this specific version, I will attach a link to that version in the comment section below the video. So now click into the comment section. And before actually continuing watching this video, download the link that I provided for you in the comment section and download it to your system. What you get out of this link is a zip file. You will have to extract that and place it into the installation directory of OBS. And I will just quickly show you where that is by opening my explorer. On drive C, we will now go into our program files folder. Program files Program files is the one that we need. Seven zip not selected one of one hundred and forty one. We want OBS. Op Studio eighty four of one hundred and forty one. OBS Studio. Min not selected one of seven. Now in here. Data two. Op Studio three of seven. There's the OBS plugins folder. We will go in there. Sixty four bit not selected one of one. We will go into the 64-bit folder. Locals not selected, one of 75. And now in here, we've got a lot of files, and the important one is... Opsaco.dll35 of 75. The obsaco.dll. And this needs to be in here, together with all the other files from this zip file. So make sure to extract it into C program files, OBS Studio, OBS plugins, 64-bit. Everything from the zip archive needs to go here, otherwise it won't work. Then you start up OBS. Scenes window list test. Here we go. I've created a test scene in my OBS, which is empty. Sources window list. There's no source. And if you've already worked with OBS before, then you know that everything in OBS works through the source. That means that everything visual, might it be your preferred gaming monitor or a webcam or whatever you're using is a source. Everything audio is a source as well. Doesn't matter if it's your microphone or if it's your PC desktop audio, 
everything audio is a source as well. So everything going into OBS is a source and will be captured and can be positioned every way you like, can be applied effects and, and all these kind of things. So everything in OBS is a source before it actually gets rendered into a video file. So we have to add a source for our ACO. And this is the first step in OBS that we need to do. And that is we press context menu here and we use the up and down arrows once. Up 64 window add collapsed. Great. We go into the add menu. Application audio capture data. And we go down. ACO input. Oh, that's great. We use ACO input. Up 30.0.0 profile. And in here we give it a name. Let's call it test audio. And confirm. Properties for test audio dialog device. And now we've got some settings. Cancel button enter. Defaults button enter. Grouping. Combo box collapsed ACO devices. Down. We've got an ACO devices combo box. And now here comes the second most important part. In order to work properly with Reaper, you need to have Reaper installed. And in the installation process, you need to check the reroute option in the Reaper installation tool because you will need reroute, which is an ACO driver, which is meant to just connect different ACO devices with each other. And in this case, we want to do exactly that. We want to connect Reaper with OBS, but Reroute can also connect any other ACO device to each other if you want to. So we need to install that. And if you did that, then it will show up in this list. Audio USB audio ACO driver. Realtek ACO. Rayroot ACO X64. That is the one. We select that. Combo box Rayroot ACO X64. Collapsed ACO devices. And after this combo box, we will have another one. Combo box collapsed for each opt-out per channel. Pick one of the input channels of your ACO device. Down. Great, so we can have up to two input channels. OBS can only do stereo right now, so we will have to select them here. You would pick the first channel in here, or the second one, or the third. You basically decide on one pair of channels you want to use. In my case, I'm usually using channels one and two. And you would select channel one in the first combo box and channel two in the second combo box. This doesn't work for me here because I am actually recording through OBS right now. So those two OBS instances are actually colliding and the second OBS instance cannot use ACO right now. So that means my input boxes here will actually stay empty while I'm recording this. But believe me, in here you will get the list of different channels, usually 32 by default if you just install reroute with its default configuration. And you will be able to select channels 1 and channel 2 in the two appropriate combo boxes. The next combo boxes would be combo box collapsed sample rate. Number of samples per channel in one second. Down. The sample rate, make sure to match the ACO sample rate configured in Reaper. Combo box collapse bit depth. Size of a sample in bits and format dot float should be preferred. Same goes for the bit rate. Also, the default settings should be fine. Combo box 64 collapsed buffer. Number of samples in a single frame. A lower value implies lower latency. 256 should be okay for most cards. Warning, the real buffer returned by the device may differ down. So this is the buffer size, and if you experience stuttering or audio crackles in your recordings with OBS, try increasing the buffer size, because that might be the reason for that. Device may timeout checkbox not check device may timeout. Checklist if your device has issues starting up slash disconnecting. May solve max audio buffering reached errors. Yeah, just leave it at default, as you just have heard. If you've got any such issues, feel free to check it and see if that helps. ACO driver control panel button. Make sure your settings in the driver control panel for sample rate and buffer are consistent with what you have set in box. Enter. Yeah, if you check that, you will open the rewrite configuration dialog. If you have any issues or you just want to play around with the thing, then try pressing this button and see what comes up. That's everything you need to do in OBS. The only thing that you now need to do is set up a source. So you've got the destination configured. All you need to do now is configure the source. And for that, I will just quickly switch over to Reaper. And I've got a project in front of me, one test. which is just the default project with one example track with nothing on it. So what I usually do when I want to route things into OBS through reroute, I just show the master track by pressing Control Alt Shift M. Master track visible. And then using the up arrow. Master. And after selecting the master track, I usually press Alt and Context menu. Context menu menu. And in here, one analog one slash analog two check one. I've got all the outputs of my audience interface listed, obviously, but below that, reroute output sub menu R. I've got the reroute output menu. I could have used the up arrow as well. So let's go in there. Reroute output menu. Reroute one slash reroute two R. And this is the stereo pair reroute one and reroute two. And if I just check that, Unsafe. 
then, and you will have to believe me with this because I cannot demonstrate it right now, then everything that gets played back in this Reaper project will automatically be sent over to OBS through reroute. And if you set up your OBS source properly, then everything that you send out through Reaper we just appear in OBS where you can capture it, where you can record it into a video file, where you can stream it out via Twitch or YouTube or your preferred streaming service. So to sum it all up, the magical words are install the plugin into OBS after installing Reaper with reroute, which is really important. Set up your OBS source so that you capture everything that come in through two dedicated channels on reroute, which you have to choose by yourself I usually go with channels one and two, and then you set up anything that actually sends the audio into those two channels. It could be Reaper, it could be any other tool that supports ASIO, actually. And after doing all of that, this audio should actually appear in OBS and you should be able to monitor it. You should be able to apply effects if you want to. You should be able to just send it out or capture it. That is literally all the magic. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials about either OBS or Reaper or even sample library reviews or something totally different, please let me know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for watching and until next week. Bye bye.